Welcome back, guys, and thank you so much to the subscribers, right? Welcome to the family. Thank you all, no takers, and for those that like. Okay, so what are we talking about today? Understanding plasma types. In the previous video, we talked about blood types, so we were focused on the formed elements, specifically packed red blood cells. This time, we want to take a look at the plasma aspect of your blood. Okay. Who am I? Cliff Davis, a uh, long time advanced medical surgical professor and associate dean of nursing, okay? All right, so what are we doing at RN Cliff Notes? We are helping students to see through larger concepts by giving you study smart strategies. This is the channel where you pick up the keys that'll make you a high flying nurse, right? There'll be some things that we give you in this that you just you simply aren't going to find anywhere else. You know what I mean? So, all right. All right, so bring it forward quiz. Biff quiz. Surprisingly, it rhymes with Cliff. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, on a blank sheet of paper and, or in your device, you know, a fresh page in that, okay? So, let's jump right in. Now, bring it forward. What are we doing? Reflecting on concepts that we learned already, that we're trying to lock down. So... All right, so, so we're reflecting on pack red blood cells real quick here, all right? And what we want to do is list all the compatible blood types for transfusing pack red blood cells in a patient who is blood type AB positive. Okay, so take a stab at that. Which, if these were people who were ready to donate blood in, in the waiting area, right? And the person that was hemorrhaging... We find out that they're AB positive. All their buddies are in the waiting area, and those are the blood types that are available. Who out of their buddies could, could donate blood, yeah? All right, pause the video if you need to, and you should put the following. Yeah, so if you didn't see that, what happened? All of them turned red. That's right. Each one of them could. Why? This demonstrates the principle that we were studying in that blood diamond that had AB at the bottom of the diamond. And what was it doing? Receiving arrows from everybody. So AB, the universal, what do we call them? The universal recipient. Outstanding. Good. Now, we also needed to not just use our blood diamond, but we needed to compare that with the cross-matching rule, right? And we understand that a person with RH positive blood can receive RH negative blood safely. Yes? All right. Good, good. All right, it's, it's coming, it's coming. You're getting it, <laughs> okay? Yeah, all right, number two now. So we wanna take a look at the physician's order. All right, and this time we're, we're focusing back on the plasma and here's how the order would look. So. The physician order will read one to two units of FFP. FFP. So we want to know what does FFP stand for? So number two, what does FFP stand for? And you should have written down or typed in the following. Fresh frozen plasma. All right. Now when we were talking about the red blood cells. That was what? A unit or two of what? PRBCs, packed red blood cells. Okay, this time FFP. Now, let's put this into perspective. Okay, so we take a test tube. Uh, we, we've drawn the patient's blood and we take a test tube and we spin it in the device in the lab, right? That spins that blood around. By the way, what's the name of that device? You say centrifuge fantastic right so the centrifuge is doing what sending that test tube and using centrifugal force right to help quickly separate the blood from the plasma all right with that spinning motion by the way that would need to spin for approximately seven or eight minutes okay so there's our maximum number seven again right all right so good so that spins and then now let me ask you real quick so it spins, it separates the, the packed red blood cells, or the formed elements, 
from the plasma? Well, which substance or which aspect of the blood do we expect to be on top? All right, would it be the packed red blood cells or formed elements, or would it be the plasma? And if you said plasma, you are correct. Yes, think about it. If the packed red blood cells are coated in hemoglobin, which is that sticky iron-based paint, if it's got iron-based paint on it, what do those cells want to do? Sink to the bottom of the tube. Absolutely, right? And then you'd have the water liquid portion, the plasma, at the top. So you should have a straw, yellow or clear, yellow portion of uh, liquid at the top, and then a thicker, right, portion of red blood cells and other formed elements at the bottom of the test tube. Fantastic. All right, so we're talking about this aspect of it. And, all right, so fresh frozen plasma. Just a little bit of insight to it. So, uh, is the liquid portion that we were talking about. So it's the liquid portion of whole blood and it is used to treat low blood clotting factors. Yes, it turns out your blood clotting factors can be found in your more uh, liquid portion of it. And particularly when a person's INR is greater than 1.5. Okay, well that brings to mind that INR thing. What should that INR be? Wait a minute, that's too easy. This is our in cliff notes, right? Shoot. That's what I was saying. Hey, let's get it. Okay? So, alright, so let's say, what should that INR be in general, under normal circumstances? But then, we also want to know, what should that INR be if they're under therapy? Let's say that the person is heparinized. Are they on Coumadin therapy? Are they warfare or not? What should it be? Okay, so under normal circumstances, right, it should be less than one. If they're under therapy, if they're heparinized, or on Coumadin therapy, warfare or not, it should be two to three. Now make sure you catch that. If you hadn't seen that in our previous video, right, that's in some of our initial sets of videos where we're talking about laboratory shorthand and things like that. Hmm? So what just happened? We talked about the INR, but we just counted to three. One, two, three. What? So under normal circumstances, it should be what? Less than one. But if they're under therapy, it should be two to three. Ah, all right. So INR is what? As easy as one, two, three. And with that in mind, knowing that less than one it's the normal, then it makes sense or it stands to reason that if you have an INR greater than 1.5, there could be issues. Yes? The person's not clotting fast enough. So we're going to give them clotting factors by giving them or infusing, right, fresh frozen plasma. Mm, okay. Now, uh, the second thing, low levels of other uh, blood proteins. This is where you typically find the protein from blood. By the way, a little quick note here. Uh, and if you ever get to do this in class, it is a fantastic thing. If you go to school and they've got a centrifuge there in the lab and the teacher will let you draw the blood and this kind of thing, try checking out your blood and spin it in the centrifuge before you have anything to eat. Then go and eat, you know what I mean, whatever it is that you eat, you know what I mean. Preferably something with a little bit of oil in it. <laughs> okay, and it's pretty fascinating that just how clear your plasma is, right? Before you have anything to eat, then maybe 30 minutes or an hour after you have something to eat, oh my gosh, you spin that, you spin your blood down again, and phew, it looked like somebody poured a little bit of milk inside your plasma at the top of that test tube. It's pretty weird to look at. It's, it's cloudy with all the fat that you ate. Like, oh my gosh. If you didn't, you know, if you weren't serious about your diet, after you do that test, you will be. <laughs> Isn't that right? Okay, so anyway, that's where you find those blood proteins. And we know from previous videos that blood proteins are essential to helping to maintain the liquid portion of your blood inside of your vessels. Why? Because we know 
that water does what in the body? Fine protein, right? And if we don't have enough blood protein, right, particularly if our liver isn't functioning well, then we'll have some of that liquid portion of our blood leave our vessels and go out to our muscles. And that's where you see those patients, right? Or you see folks that have a huge, like, uh, terribly edematous legs, right? Where it's like their legs are like constantly moist. Yeah, that person doesn't have nearly enough blood protein to keep that fluid inside. And what do we say the water does? Go out to be with protein. Yeah, pretty important, okay? All right, now, so we said we're gonna give you the plasma diamond. I want you to notice right away it looks a whole lot like the diamond that we had in the other series or the other video there where we were talking about uh, blood typing. However, in this case, we have it reversed. So, in our previous one, we had O as a superior one in the diamond. This time that we're talking about plasma, AB takes the superior position. And you still have A and B again, but then this time, O. So what does that express? When it comes to plasma, now, if you're speaking of FFP instead of packed red blood cells, in the case of FFP, the universal donor becomes AB, and O becomes the universal recipient of plasma proper, right? There are some instances where they will, they will administer this and not really pay close attention to the compatibility rules according to this diamond, but this is the safest way to do it, okay? All right now, so here's our next one. So the scenario, patient is type A, B positive, but then wait a minute, right? Some of you are going, well didn't we just do A, B positive, but don't forget, don't forget, right? That was what, that was a scenario with packed red blood cells. Okay, I'm flipping the script on you, okay? That was with packed red blood cells. This time it's with plasma, okay? So now, all right, so the type AB positive, and below is a list of available plasma donors. So similar scenario, but now the buddy is in the waiting room, right? And we wanna see who would be compatible to donate plasma to the patient that needs it. Okay, so we're gonna highlight whoever's an eligible candidate in yellow. All right, so here we go. And it would be, this time, AB positive and AB negative. That would be the only ones. Why? Because the diamond flipped. Earlier, we were talking about packed red blood cells and it was everybody, right? So we saw that universal donor situation. Uh, yeah, right, the universal recipient, excuse me. In this case, right, yeah, it is the opposite. So, anyway, good, good. Now, uh, what we want to do is just go back and look at our rules side by side this time. So, we were looking at the plasma diamond, again, having A, B in the superior position and O in the dependent position, A and B off to the sides, and reflecting off of our RH uh, compatibility video that we did, right? We're bringing this symbol forward. And uh, again, what this explains is that RH negative can donate to RH positive. There's no cutoff there. But when it comes to RH positive blood, right? They cannot donate or transfuse into someone who's RH negative. All right, so that's our two rules when we're looking at either typing for plasma, right, transfusion or infusion, or the same two things come into play when we're looking to transfuse or infuse uh, packed red blood cells. Yes? Awesome. Okay, okay. So now, just looking back at our scenario again, so we said AB positive and AB negative. Why? Okay, if it's AB, the arrow is what? It's going down. 
they could give to other people, but there are no arrows going up. So A can't, B can't, nor can O. So it would only be AB that's a candidate at all. Then we want to look at the positive and negative. And we said it was both, right? Because our patient was AB positive. So that means that what? Negative. Negative can give to positive. And positive can give to positive. So that's what made this statement or this scenario true. AB positive could donate and AB negative could also donate. Why? Because our patient is AB positive. Okay. Alrighty. Hey. Once again, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for tuning in. All right? Keep studying smart. Thanks.